Hi, Jim Bowers here with the only uh, DJI Phantom review that you even need to watch because uh, I just got a Phantom, but Phantom didn't send it to me free just to do a review. I'm the guy that's going to tell you the bottom line on this thing and whether or not you really want to buy one, all right? So uh, here's the Phantom that I just got in the mail, UPS. I ordered it uh, three days ago. And it came yesterday from San Jose from uh, Helicopter World. Uh, shop online. Don't pay $700 for a Phantom. Look around. You can get one of these for only $479. So that's the cheapest price I've been able to find. So obviously that's pretty close to cost on them or something like that. So uh, $479 online and that is for just the Phantom by itself. With the Phantom, what you get is six props, so you're going to get the four that go on it, plus two extra props. You're going to get, uh, you won't get these prop guards. To get the prop guards, you got to uh, spend an extra $15. You get one battery with it, and uh, let's see, what else do you get with it? Uh, landing gear, you get the GoPro mount on the bottom here, and uh, that's a good thing because the contour sucks. And um, uh, trust me, I've got one and I've had nothing but problems with it. So uh, now there's some things that you definitely want to order when you get your Phantom. Don't buy it just by itself. You might want to get the prop guards. Uh, if you're a hot dogger and you, you want to reduce the weight on it, don't get them. But I highly recommend the prop guards. A couple of reasons why. One, with the prop guards, you can potentially fly it indoors bump into walls, bump into your five-year-old, uh, whatever, chase the cat, I don't care. But uh, So you want to get the prop guards, they're $15 online, cheap investment. I painted my prop guards on the front of the uh, Phantom yellow, and that's just to help with orientation. When you're out there flying, you notice the Phantom is pretty much one color everywhere. Now there are the LED lights on the bottom that tell you what direction you're going. The green lights are toward the back, the red lights are toward the front. Uh, but other than that, if you get out there way far away and you're kind of turned, your LED lights aren't going to help you too much, but you might be able to see these fluorescent uh, prop guards. So paint them fluorescent pink, you know, if that's what you're into, or uh, yellow or whatever, you know. So uh, uh, the other thing you want to order are extra batteries. Uh, it only comes with one battery. You definitely want to fly more than once when you're out there because it's so much fun to fly. And so get a couple of extra batteries, 22 bucks a piece for a uh, 2200 mAh battery, okay? Three cell LiPo. It comes with just the one Phantom battery. All right, so uh, get extra props, extra batteries, and the prop guards. Oh, and by the way, somebody told me uh, online uh, that you want to order extra prop nuts for it. And that is maybe a good idea. These prop nuts for some bizarre reason, have a tendency to spin off. And I can tell you that by experience, my very first flight, second flight on this thing, I was up about four feet off the ground, thank God I was only four feet off the ground, and spun off a prop and the thing just flipped over and fell to the ground. Thank God I didn't do any real damage to it. But uh, And I, I know how to put a prop nut on. I had this thing on pretty tight, but it still spun off. So the jury's still out on how reliable these uh, prop nuts are. Uh, from what I gather, this is their second generation uh, Phantom, and now they're putting counter uh, uh, counterclockwise threads on the counterclockwise props. So uh, it, it can be a little bit of a pain because you've got to remember which nut is counterclockwise and which nut is a clockwise tighten or loosen, etc. So you want to pay attention to that. You don't want to uh, turn this thing the wrong way, you'll strip it out. Um, so uh, it's going to be a little more difficult for you to find these counter-rotating uh, nuts just uh, off the shelf somewhere because they are counter-rotating, so you might have to order them from Phantom. They do come in two colors. The black ones are going to be counter-rotating, and the silver ones are going to be uh, 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 clockwise, regular. Okay. So uh, that's what you want to get for extra props. To put the thing together is pretty simple. You screw on your uh, landing gear. There's the compass right there. So you can see the compass is installed right there. And then uh, over here on this side, we have the antenna is right there. So uh, you run them up through the leg and screw these on. It comes with uh, screws 
and all the screws are the same on it, which is kind of cool. And the uh, screws have, have a Loctite on them already, which is another nice little feature. So put your landing gear on, then they also come with some tape uh, in the box, and the tape is for holding down the uh, antenna and the compass wiring that's going back down. Okay, so then you, here's your uh, contour mount, or excuse me, your, <laughs> your GoPro mount right there. And there's your battery door opening right there. And then there's your LED indicator light to tell you what uh, direction you're going. What I did was a couple of things. One, like I said, I painted my prop guards. And number two, I wrote my phone number on here. I just took a silver Sharpie and just jotted it down nice and small on it just in case I'm out there flying FPV somewhere and I get so far away. And what this has is a fail-safe mode on it which is when the battery gets so low that you're about to crash, this thing goes into a autopilot mode and lands itself. So you could be a mile and a half away, or not that far, because I don't think the range is that far on it, and the thing's just gonna land itself. So it uh, doesn't hurt to put your phone number on it, okay? All right, so basically, my thoughts on this thing are, number one, it's the Cadillac of drones. UAVs, multi-rotors, uh, Secret Service, whatever you want to call it. You know, I get all kinds of comments on this, and you will too. You know, people out there that see these fly, they still, most people out there have never seen a quadcopter, so they're very intrigued on it. You're going to draw a lot of attention to yourself flying this. Now, the, uh, the uh, Phantom DJI, you know, with this uh, GoPro mount, you put a GoPro on here, and by the way, the GoPro, if you don't have one, my, personally, I just recommend the white edition. It comes in white, silver, and the black edition. Black edition is like $350 on up. The white edition is just $199. They both, they all shoot in 1080p, so you're going to get uh, high-resolution pictures. No big deal. And that's all you really want is high-resolution video. Shoot at uh, 720 and 60 frames per second. Recommend that because it gives you less of the jello effect, which is the vibration. There's a couple of things, and I'll explain this in another video, that you can put between the mount and the quadcopter that will reduce vibration, like a, like a foam material or a, or a neoprene or something like that that you can cut and just buy it off the shelf, and it'll reduce that vibration in your videos. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to be using this for video. I'm going to be shooting aerial photography. I've also got the Fat Shark Predator uh, FPV goggles. And so with these, I'm going to uh, fly it first-person view. That's FPV. You wear these goggles, and then with these goggles on, you're looking at video screens. I know I look like a complete dork, and you will too out in the park. But you wear these goggles, little video screens in here, and you're looking at it from the pilot's point of view so you can fly around. You don't even know where your quadcopter is, but you're flying around through the park and under the tree limbs and wherever. So this is what I'm really looking forward to. And the reason is because this is what we call a ripper. Me and my buddy Terry, we live here in uh, Colfax, California, this area near Sacramento. And uh, we build these things from scratch. Uh, cut the Lexan, uh, put the KK2 board on them, uh, three-bladed props with 900 or better KV motors, and just tear it up in these. You know, hit the brakes and do full 360s. You can do flips with them and the whole bit. And the Lexan body on these, this H-frame, is virtually bomb-proof. So if you do want to build your own uh, uh, quadcopter and you want to build your own frame, consider cutting Lexan for it because you can't hurt it. You can roll this thing on asphalt. And you're going to tear up all your props, but the uh, frame will still be intact. So this one's for tearing up the sky. This one is going to be for video. Video and for nice, gentle you know, panoramic views and all that sort of thing with my fat sharp goggles. So, with the uh, Phantom DJI, I give it a 9 on a scale of 1 to 10. It's a great quadcopter. If you shop it online, you can get it for $479. Buy it with uh, five extra sets of props. Go ahead and get some extra prop nuts because that might be an issue. Get the prop guards for it. And you're pretty much ready to go right out of the box somewhere right in there under 600 bucks so uh the dga dji phantom i highly recommend it i'm jim bowers and we'll see you again on another youtube video